right, you're stuck. See if it'll back itself out. <laughs> it's hard to not do, do my thing. What have you done? What do you mean? You came home with a new car? I did. <laughs> why, why did you get a new car? Well, because we got my other car, which had great gas mileage. Like, there were all these reasons to get it, but it was so small that I literally had to make a choice between, do I take the stroller or do I buy groceries today? And Jack like wasn't fitting in the back. We couldn't put the car seat behind the driver's seat because even when I'm in there, there wasn't room in the back seat. It was just really tiny. It was really probably caught a whole bunch of heat. And I think there was a lack of knowledge about the Mrs. W being so fancy with her BMW. But the truth of the matter is we were going to go buy in when we bought her car, her, her old car was on its last legs. Right. Um, and so we went to buy a used car. We we're going to get like a Subaru or something. And, and there was, they had that X1 BMW that we bought that was really small. It was, what it have like 11,000 miles on it? It had 7,000 miles on it. 7,000. I think it was 20 grand. Yeah, it was it was brand new and it, it was so we got it and that and that's why we didn't uh, it's not that we really wanted that it was just they gave it to us at below trade in and that's why we drove that and, and that was gonna be fine but that was pre baby D right babies change things a lot and so when you can't even get in the car and Cody literally I, I, it was just too small Jack was on is uh, coming up on five foot nine and I couldn't drive the car with the baby seat in the back or him and I mean it was just terrible so what did you get? I, Can you show me? Yes. Oh, uh, and I have to admit, I like this because it's more truck-like. Um, so I got a 4Runner. Yeah, that's what I got. I got you a 4Runner. You are cool. I don't know if I'm cool, but I'm very practical. Now, all your friends have Subarus and Highlanders. How come you didn't get one of those? Uh, I, I like the styling on this a little bit more. All right, give us a quick tour. Um, well, two seats. Three seats, everything folds down. Look, you can have the car seat behind the drivers, which even when I was driving my old car, I couldn't do that because it was so tight. Very nice. And this is key. I can actually put the stroller in. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and this is the <clears throat> coolest attachment for anyone who's having a baby. You can put the car seat into the stroller with this little attachment. You just click it in, and that way you can use your, your bob. Um, you just fold it. <clears throat> we have been looking at uh, cars for quite some time, and you know, there's there's not a lot of cars that give me the fizz. When I look at them, that I think, oh, I really, really like that. This is one that we pick, had picked out, or I, I was trying to convince you of for a long time, and we drove one what, a couple years ago. Yeah, and I said no. Too bumpy. Too bumpy, and also I, I'm there's always a spender and a saver, and I'm I'm the saver, and I said. We're not paying unless we can pay cash. So, so there we have it. So this is a uh, what is it? It's the TRD. Yeah. So it's got the cool. It's got the locking differential, the crawl stuff. Four wheel drive for us is mandatory. Yeah, we have to have four wheel drive. Here. And w one thing that we were running into with her little car was uh, when you would go to pick up your running friends uh, and go down <laughs> some of these long snowy driveways. You were I was botting them out, dragging the guts out of the car, and yeah. it was just not very suitable for yeah. up here. So this is awesome. I'm thrilled. And I'm sure Cody will give you details. Well, what I'm happy about is it's a car that I like to drive too. I, I, if we had gotten one of those other ones, you know, they they just seem a little less masculine than. So, this. are you saying I should have gotten the other ones? No, I think that this is the perfect car for you. I think so too. Did you notice that it's all muddy underneath there? Well, Jack asked, "How long is this going to stay clean?" And it was within 12 hours. It was covered in dirt and mud, and it wasn't on purpose. It was just that's what our life is like. Should I show you what it can do? I'm going to show you what it can do. So we're going to, use, we'll use the crawl control. I'll show you how to use that here. Okay. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to put the uh, transfer case into four low. Okay. So I need to go to neutral. And go down, over, and up. Okay. There's four low. Okay. Now you're going to activate the uh, rear differential lock, which is the rocker switch to the right. This one? Yeah. Okay. And I think the A-track right there. Now you're going to turn on the speed control, press that dial in the center. Now I'm going to have you crawl up that little knoll right there okay. and just let the vehicle do. Take your foot off the gas and the brake. And you hear the ABS going. Take the dial and turn it to the right ones. This one? Yep. One click. Nope. Not oh. the whole thing. One click. There you go. So can, now, I, can I steer a little bit? Yeah. Steer left. See that rock? Yeah. Put your tire on it. I don't know if I'm very good at that yet. 
Looks good. Stay right where you're going. Head to the left. Up. There we go. Now let the vehicle do its thing. Should, should I let go of that? Woo! Oh, Cody! Turn left. <laughs> See, it's driving itself there. <laughs> yeah. So, are you telling me to go get stuck on purpose? So we're gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to get the front end buried in the mud and see if that traction control will pull it, or that crawl control will pull it back out. I don't know that I wanna get my car dirty. Well, I'll wash it for you. So this is, uh, we have the worst possible tires for this, so we'll really see how good it works. I'll guide you in, you ready? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Turn to the right. All right, you're stuck. Okay. See if it'll back itself out. Okay, you're gonna break it. So what do our arms are turning speed? Oh, okay. There we go. That's pretty incredible. That is amazing. So, so is this why you wanted to get this one instead of just the regular one? Yeah, the, the TRD has, <laughs> has that in the locking differential. So that's street tires with a, f a factory vehicle. You were completely box stuck down in the mud. Yeah. The front skid plate is sitting on the mud. Uh huh. And you put it in reverse and it crawls itself out of there. Now, could it have crawled the other way you think or not? I don't think so. I think we tried that. The tires, they're highway tires. Had, had we had some decent tires on there, yeah. it would have went through that. Um, but it was um, just, it was it couldn't bite anything. But the fact that it got out in reverse was pretty amazing. There's no telling where I might go now. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. So now you have to clean, clean some mud off of your truck. Okay. I don't mind a muddy truck. Well, Jack needs something to do, right? Anyway, mm -hmm. I wanted to show that to you because it's, it's not, a lot of that four-wheel drive stuff is kind of gimmicky right. uh, this is this is totally legit to, to quote from the cars movie i've never been off road before yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's head up to the house okay could they put any more lights <laughs> i guess not they want you to know what's on <laughs> all right i think i can turn all this off and drive don't you yeah you can turn it all off all right so to the to put it in neutral Go ahead and turn off your uh, crawl. Track. A lock and your diff lock. No, there's still. It'll, it'll. You need to. Yeah, you need to move and it'll sort itself. And out. I don't need to be in four low. Take the transfer case out of and put it back into two high. And then you're uh, back into drive and you're good. Hear all that stuff disengage. Yeah. And then the lights turn on. It's not a bad day for a drive, is it? We might have to take this thing down to Moab next Jeep rally. Guess we may miss this this year's, huh? We might have to put a three-inch Old Man Emu lift on it. It's a BFG LTs or KM2s. KM KM you realize that this is my car for car seats and such, right? I got to be able to get in and out. Yeah, well, it makes it easier to get your car seat on when you have 33-inch lift on it. <laughs> How much higher would it be? Three inches. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Well, you never know what you're going to get on the channel. <laughs> no. Car reviews. All right. 
So right off the bat, this was not, let me repeat, this was not a product endorsement. I have not been contacted by Toyota, nor have I ever, nor do I anticipate that I ever will. Uh, this is was our own choice. So let's get that out of the way because that always comes up. But we looked at a lot of vehicles uh, to replace uh, Mrs. W's car. Uh, we drove, we drive, we drove the Subarus, we drove the the Ford Exploders, we drove the Nissan Armada and the Land Cruiser and on and on and on. And it's funny thing is that this is the one that I originally uh, was kind of steering her towards um, in the first place. Yeah, I know the argument could be made that it's uh, technologically, it's not as advanced as some of the other cars, but what I, that's kind of what I like about it. I like the, the fact that it's a Toyota. I mean, my two favorite car brands would be Toyota or Ford. I, I would want to drive one or the other. I've had uh, two Tacomas. Uh, when I was a kid, I always, those Forerunners came, first came out. I loved those things. I wanted one of those so bad. They were just, uh, it was really one of my dream cars when I was uh, 16, 17 or so, 18 maybe. Uh, but this is a lot lot of fun. That I'll tell you what, that four-wheel drive system on this, this is, you know, being a factory midsize SUV, not modified, um, is amazing. I mean, the, the powertrain on this and that crawl system that they have on there, it's really impressive. And you know, and that's not coming from, you know, a suburbanite that goes off road, you know, once a year on a camping trip. I have a long background in, you know, heavy duty off road driving. Um, so, I mean, just I, I my, my second car was a 75 Bronco and, you know, lifted with lockers and all of that. And I had a Jeep business, a uh, Wranglers only for well, 10 years or so, and I've had multiple Rubicons. Uh, you know, we've done, uh, we've been to Moab at the Jeep Rally, uh, the Rubicon Trail of Colorado. Um, you know, talking, you know, highly modified stuff with Dana 60s and V8 conversions and all that. So I, I, I know about real four wheel drive. I'm not confusing this with that. Um, but um, for, for an off the shelf or off the rack, it's pretty darn impressive. I think you add a, throw a three inch lift on that and some 31 inch tires or so, man, it'd be hard to beat. It'd be a pretty capable, very, very capable machine. So really, really happy with that. Um, enjoy that. Uh, I'm, I'm, no regrets on that purchase. I think it's just going to be uh, perfect for her. And the nice thing about it is I don't mind driving it. I actually really enjoy it. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.